So I've, I've popped up here um, the House of Commons Library briefing paper dated the 2nd of September 2015 and it's the migration statistics and this was produced um, for the UK government. So these figures, as it says that the, the government have had to revise the migration figures and I'm very surprised I haven't seen this more widely reported in the media. The 2011 census showed that the population of England and Wales was vastly different to the figures that they had calculated. And as it says up here, um, they had to amend it because there were 464,000 more people in the UK than they had bargained for and that comes partly from migration and partly from the EU and the figures for 2001 to 2011 are revised and as you'll see 2001 to 2011 it has never been lower than 150,000 net per year into the UK and you think the figures if if you're adding 250,000 as it was for this year more people net more people into the country as I said earlier on where are they going to go what, what houses are you going to put them in we can't deal with the homelessness problem that we've already got in this country. So all of these extra people that are coming into this country, where are they going to go? And if we've got 464,000 more people than they had guessed, and this was something somebody didn't get. I brought this up during the uh, Hustons in the election. Every year... There are net figures given for how many people uh, leave and come to the country and it's netted off. And since uh, Labour came to power in 97, it's consistently always been net positive for people coming into the country. And there are figures every year given and somebody didn't understand me saying these figures are just a guess by the government. They can't give exact figures and the reason they can't give exact figures is because they're prohibited from counting how many Europeans come and go from the country each year. There is no way of telling how the UK is being filled by people from Europe. So Poland, Romania, a million could come in tomorrow and we would not be allowed to count them. All the government can do is estimate how many of them there are. And as can be seen from this, and as I said, it was dated 7th September 2015, um, they got the figures wrong. Um, you've got to remember, not everybody fills out a census, so it could be even more wrong than that. And that's the bit that is at the heart of everybody's complaint about migration we don't know how many people are coming into this country and that leads on into my next episode which is on the eu and why we want to leave the eu because they that we have an open border within europe and two million people could come in tomorrow and we would have no way of stopping them africa you know there are hundreds of thousands every month trying to get into Europe and it's just too many and this country we're already overpopulated if we've got 400,000 more than we should have where have they come from and they're the people that are legitimately here people that are filling out the census and registering there are more people the people at Calais the people that are risking their lives every day and they are dying you know four people have died in the last week trying to get from Calais to England through the Eurotunnel they're electrocuting themselves they're being hit by trains they're suffocating in aeroplanes 
getting in the wheel arches they're getting into the back of people's cars and they're threatening them they're threatening lorry drivers lorry drivers are having to take knives and hammers to protect themselves because they're so violent trying to get into this country and why are they trying to get into this country it's because it's a better country than they came from and i feel sorry for them i do if i was in their position i would probably try and come to the uk but we can't take everybody you know we have a duty to look after the people that are in this country we have a duty to offer asylum to refugees and at the moment Syria is our, should be our main concern. We should be taking as many as we can. And every country in the EU should be doing that. But these economic migrants that are coming to this country, no. And I'm fairly sure in a few episodes time I will give a breakdown of the economics because one of the biggest things that has been said during 2015 election was ah but migration is net positive but it is net positive for the people that are meant to be here think of the people that aren't supposed to be here they're costing this country they're using the nhs you know a nurse isn't going to turn somebody away from a hospital because they're not allowed to use the nhs so they put them through the system because if you need help, it's the NHS. They are going to give help. The amount of people that come here legally, use the NHS, run up a huge bill and leave. And we're the ones that are paying for this. And the reason we're so angry about this is at the end of every single month, so this is every month for a long, long time, we borrow money. 90 billion, 100 billion, we're borrowing tens of billions a month because we don't make enough money in this country at the moment and we're spending money and if we take 20,000 new migrants we're going to have to house them where are we going to house them? What what are we going to say to the, the, the chap that's sleeping in Piccadilly Gardens tonight? Are we going to go up to him tomorrow and say, I'm really sorry, that house we were going to give you, you're not entitled to it anymore because somebody from Africa has decided they want to come to England and we'd rather give them a house. Where are these people going to live? Where that There are people in the UK that need somewhere to live. There are benefits in the UK that the Tories have slashed. We're about to lose working credits because we don't have enough money in this country. Working credits, which if you remove them, is going to bring lots and lots of our children back into poverty. They were brought in to stop children living in poverty. You take them away and today, the 4th of October, David Cameron has confirmed that he will cut working tax credits and you will see more children living in poverty. And these are children that live in our country already. Why are we looking after a child or an adult from Africa when we should be looking after a child or an adult from the UK first, when we can afford it, when we have net migration leaving the country and you know the the country isn't filling up as fast as it is then because it that's what was happening in the 60s 70s the people were just leaving and not many people were coming it wasn't until 97 that there was any appreciable increase in the net migration figures so that's why we can't afford it we don't have the room we have people here that we need to be looking after already and that's why I'm against our open borders with Europe. It's why I'm against just an open borders with Africa. Eritrea, it's not a wonderful country but it's not a country that's in desperate need. It's poor but I, I can think of other countries that are poor that people want to stay in. 
they're only coming to this country because they think they can get in and we need to stop that we need to stop what's happening in calais we need to stop people dying in the mediterranean on boats we need to start looking after the homeless. We need to start offering mental health service to teenagers. We need to be offering mental health services to our soldiers. We need to be offering housing to our soldiers. We need to be helping single parents. We need to be helping the people in this country. And we can't do that by continually and non-stop taking people from other countries and paying out in our education, in our health, in our police. Our police forces have been decimated and yet we're filling the country. And it's about time to stop. Okay, I'm going to leave it there because I've been rambling. So, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.